Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you a sort of universal method for loading a custom ROM onto your phone after you've used a one-click rooting method. Okay, before you begin you must have done a one-click root method. For example, our how to root your Android phone procedure. You, if you haven't, click there, do that, then come and you can continue here. Uh, this procedure will flash a custom recovery image onto your phone, then show you how to use that recovery image to flash a custom ROM. Please post in the comments if this does or does not work for your phone along with your phone model, firmware version, and carrier, etc. This way we can improve the procedure. Okay, now you need to choose a ROM that you want to load. So head to our Android ROM section by clicking on this link here. Then choose your phone. So, for example, my touch. Then choose whichever ROM you want. When you click on the link, it'll take you to that developer's page. On that developer's page, you'll find download links. Click on one of those to download your ROM. Okay, you want to plug in the phone via USB. And then pull down and mount the SD card so we can transfer files to it. Okay, once you've downloaded that ROM as a .zip file, uh, take whatever it is, regardless of what it's called, do not extract it. We're going to transfer it to the root of our SD card. So not inside any folders on the SD card, just the SD card itself, so that it's, you know, the SD card's name and then the actual ROM file. Okay, we need to flash our custom recovery image, so we're going to go to the market. And you're going to search for ROM manager, the free one. You can click on that, hit install, okay, and wait for that to install. Once it installs, you can click on it to open the program. Click OK. Then you click Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery and wait for it to flash the recovery after you choose your device. Should pop up and ask for super user permission. Always say allow. And then it'll tell you successfully flashed. Okay, then we're gonna open ROM manager again. And we're gonna click reboot into recovery. Click OK. And wait for the phone to reboot. Okay, once it boots into your custom recovery. You're going to scroll to Backup and Restore. It may be called an Android Backup depend on, depending on the recovery image you're using. Backup and wait for it to do a backup of your system. Okay, once it says Backup Complete, we're going to go to Wipe Data Factory Reset. And once it's done with that, we can go to Install Zip from SD Card. Choose Zip from SD Card and search for the ROM file that you downloaded. Click it, and then click yes, and wait for it to finish flashing. Okay, once it's done, hit reboot system now, and wait for your phone to reboot. Okay, once the phone reboots, it'll reboot into your custom ROM, you're all set.